it looks like I just finished my Oklahoma vlog, that's because I did. It is literally two minutes later. I ate some leftovers and now I'm going to eat some leftover cheesecake. Uh, welcome to the Kiss Me Kate vlog. In just an hour and a half, we're gonna go see the Broadway revival of Kiss Me Kate over at Studio 54. We bought these tickets. A lot of this trip, I've been super, super lucky to be working with different theaters and talking about their shows, reviewing them, promoting them. None of them have been sponsored. They've all been honest, completely unbiased reviews. That being said, I was invited to those shows. I was not invited to this one. Not that they were specifically like, ew, cat. I just didn't ask and they didn't offer. So we just bought tickets because Kelly O'Hara and Kiss Me Kate. Kiss Me Kate is like a really, really important show to us. I am going to start eating my cheesecake though because I could talk about Kelly O'Hara and Kiss Me Kate forever. Is this a spork? This is a spork. So we just got out of the revival of Oklahoma, which was a complete reinvention of what I thought Oklahoma was. And honestly, I'd put it in my top three favorite productions. Not my top three favorite shows, top three favorite productions, if that makes sense. That revival of Oklahoma was awe-inspiring. It was a, a complete reworking of that show. And I know that from what I've heard about this production of Kiss Me Kate, it is like, a remastered version of Kiss Me Kate with, you know, gorgeous costumes, incredible performers, gorgeous sets, but it is the classic Kiss Me Kate you know and love. I'm interested to see which show is going to play better with these audiences. Granted, I think you have different audiences seeing Oklahoma and Kiss Me Kate, or at least different audiences who would prefer one of the shows. I will see you guys very shortly when we are out the door on our way to Kiss Me Kate. I touched up my hair, I did like a kind of sleek ponytail sort of thing, put on some darker lipstick, put on a more nighttime perfume, I changed my shoes, and this is what we look like. Say hi to the good people of the internet, mother. This is the outfit of the day. Got distracted by the police puppy. I feel so much more calm. Maybe it's because we're not like working with a show for this video, but like, I feel much more calm. We've just been like running around like crazy, so I'm kind of just excited to just enjoy the show and not worrying about doing like a whole bunch of social media stuff. Love this, oh my God, so retro. The Cher show, I love your work. Look how elegant this is, holy cow. So we can't have any kind of electronics on inside the theater, so I can't check in with you guys when we're sitting down. So I will see you guys at intermission or maybe after the show if I don't end up leaving my seat. See you in the future. Ha! Joke's on me! I forgot my phone at home! near Kiss Kate, but oh my gosh. You know, one of the major pluses of this night is that we are out late in New York City. So we're gonna explore, we're gonna try some local cuisine. I've heard of this new place called... How did we end up at Taco Bell? I like my adult slushies. We are back in the room, back from Kiss Me Kate and Taco Bell, but we're not gonna talk about that. I think it's really funny and interesting that we were talking earlier about, you know, doing revivals and really honoring the source material and putting on that classic Golden Age Broadway, and that is exactly what Studio 54 does. It was a beautiful production of Kiss Me Kate, truly. It was, it was the classic Kiss Me Kate you know and love, but put on with phenomenal talent, gorgeous costumes, incredible set design. They did have one really, really major changes, well, one and a half major changes, and that is to try to make Kiss Me Kate not more appealing, but more tolerable, I think, to a 2019 audience. They tried to take away the most socially problematic parts of Kiss Me Kate in this, and I don't, spoiler, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Fred does not spank Kate, even though it is in the text and kind of a plot point for act two when neither of them can sit, but it doesn't matter. They just kind of get into a tussle, but no one gets spanked. She's just outraged because they get into a fight. The big change is that the entirety of I am ashamed that women are so simple has been rewritten. Basically anytime that the pronoun woman is used, it's people or us 
or lovers. The message of the song is changed into why spend time fighting when you could just care for each other, which I, I get the sentiment and I think that's kind of similar to the sentiment of the original song. Granted that original song just, if it's not played correctly, can be very problematic. This opens up an interesting conversation or thought process, I guess. What, what are your thoughts on changing just one element of a show, especially in a production that really faithfully just kind of captured the classic golden age vibe of this show. It wasn't, you know, striving to do what Oklahoma did, for instance. This was really just like an homage to golden age and performing it to the best and highest degree, yet they've erased a very, very crucial uh, statement, I guess, about that period in time. I don't know where I stand on it because I, I agree. I think that the revision is very 2019 and a great message. Kiss Me Kate, as much as I love it, can feel a little, you know, woman hating at times. You take that with a grain of salt because that's the time period. And you also know that Lily Vanessi is a badass and like doesn't really care. So I don't know. I don't know how uh, I feel about it. It was beautifully performed. Kelly O'Hara's voice was Kelly O'Hara's voice. It was a great time. Will Chase was phenomenal. Corbin Blue. Oh my goodness. He stole the show. We've never seen Corbin Blue live in a show before. He was phenomenal. My gosh, so charismatic, so charming, gorgeous voice, but his dancing is out of this world. He did pullbacks down a flight of stairs. He tap danced on the ceiling. Corbin and Stephanie work so well together. Oh my gosh, Stephanie Styles making her Broadway debut as Lois slash Bianca. She is so funny. The classic musical comedy package. She's so good in the show. And this is actually really funny, but I, I've run into her a lot at like, we go to a lot of the same events and like theater parties and stuff in LA. And I've never said anything because like, we kind of know each other and we always like see each other, but we never say hi because we don't really know each other. Anyway, so I'm at the stage door. She's coming around signing playbills and I like don't want to ask for a photo because I kind of know her. So she comes over, signs my playbill and looks up and goes, do you do YouTube? I watch your videos. What? What? I, I cannot be fangirling more right now. This is the best day. So Stephanie, if you're watching this, congratulations on your Broadway debut. You are gorgeous and so talented and so sweet. And I'm so happy that we like finally got to say hi. Overall, the production was gorgeous. Honestly, if you're a fan of Kiss Me Kate, if you love Golden Age, you gotta run over to Studio 54. This is a limited engagement. I think it's through the end of June that this is playing. So get on over there and go check out Kiss Me Kate. This is where I am going to end the vlog because I am so tired. I can't wait to go to bed. It's been a great day. It's been a long day. So I am going to get some sleep. I hope you guys have had a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. I'll be back at it again with the vlog tomorrow. Hades down. I just burped. I need to go to bed.